Go na na siya. Good Sige morning, na. guys. Um, today is April 22. And I'm going to show you how to take care of uh, Monstera Adansoniae. Or the Swiss cheese, um, Swiss cheese cloth plant. So, the Swiss cheese cloth plants have five holes in their leaves. So, let's count them: one, two, three, four, five. So it has five holes. And right now, I have six of these. Two mother plant, this one and that one, and the others are from the cuttings of the mother plant. So, the materials we're going to need um, for taking care of it is this fork. We have cotton buds. We have tissue. We have water. And, of course, vinegar. So, the first step we're going to do is we have to cultivate the soil. So... I'm just going to put this aside and bring this one on. So what you're going to do is you have to cultivate the soil of this plant like that. And all around. You may do this every two weeks or you know, when the soil is um, compact. Now you can see we have some mango seeds and some eggshells because I add compost to this every once a month, once every two months, or if it's not um, doing better or doing, I mean, doing good. All right, so I also put some um, stones because I'm just going to anchor that one to the soil. And then... I'm done cultivating. Now we're going to check for on the leaves. So we we need this, the tissue, and the vinegar comes in. So you're going to put just a little bit of vinegar like that. Okay. The vinegar will add um, acidity or sourness to the water, so that um, the the insects won't like because the insects won't like the the sourness or the acidity of the leaves so like this one you see that what's this oh it's just an eggshell so you have to check every leaf and then you also have to check at the back see um if you can come and look closer you can see some cobwebs there so you just have to wipe it out like that that and if you see spider kill it and mix it with soil, you can use that as a fertilizer. Okay, so you have to check. Oh, see, I see like a aphids. It's so you have to get that one out. And on hard to reach areas. You can use um, cotton buds. You also have to dip it in the water with a, like for example, this one. You have to dip it in the water with vinegar. I think that is aphids, but very small. I don't know if it's still alive or, but you know, there's no, no one there, no insect there. Oh my god, what happened to this leaf? It's not doing good. Let's check on the other side. What's wrong with you? What's this? Alright. And then, I water this every other day, so I'm gonna water it now. I'm just... I'm just gonna set it aside and maybe water it... Oh, not now, but maybe later. At around 3 p.m. Or 4, I mean, 4 p.m. So this one is the cutting that I propagated from this plant. I just water propagate it. So you just have to cultivate the soil like that. And you see that there is a new growth. 
if you come closer, you can see that that leaf is, that is a new leaf. And when you check that, this leaf is not really healthy. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's too much sunlight. I don't know. It's summer here in the Philippines and um, it can burn, the, the sun light can burn the leaves because this is very thin. So you have to check the back. Okay. There is no insect whatsoever. And this one is also a propagation. Originally, it has two leaves. But the other one died, so I'm left with one. And I'm hoping for a new growth. Oh my god, there is a new growth. I check at the bottom, but you can see right here, it is a new leaf coming up. So you just have to cultivate that. And I also added some um, compost. Uh, a month ago it's not doing well I'm just gonna water the, it around 4 p.m. today it's just 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock right now and this one is a beautiful cutting I got from this mother plant can you focus this mother plant yeah I think this one is dying so I just cut it off so this so this is the result so you just have to cultivate that like that and then check for um, bugs or whatever I don't see bugs here oh just saying this I see something here so I'm just gonna dip the tissue it's only that you have you have to use the tissue that is not yet dipped the, the cleaner side okay like that this is a new growth of leaves because see it's the color is different it's lighter green and then we have this one this is also a propagation and my fourth like that i have to cultivate it and i have to check underneath All right there is no bugs or insect but um, I don't know if it's gonna leave. It it doesn't have new growth. Just just let it be. Let's just give it time. And this one is also a mother plant, but it's not doing really good. I've put compost on this, and I've put the stick so that I can attach it because it's set. Because I heard that when you put stick to this. Uh, Monstera adenesii the leaves will grow bigger so I try this and it has a lot of new growth this one is not doing good I want to take this out but let me check here it may not leave when I propagate this because I don't see any nodes here so I just let them be alright so I'm going to check for insects no insects there okay so that's how you take care of your Monstera adenesiae. Now, the last step is you have to touch it so that you will feel your presence. It's the TLC that they're looking for. But if you just, just planted it like a day or two, don't touch it. But since it's been, this one has been over a month, has been planted in over a month, so you have to touch it. It will make the plants stronger and healthier okay and you also have to talk to them like you for example you talk to your plants hey you have to put another leaf put another growth and you get well soon all right and later at 4 p.m today i'm gonna water them so that's it thank so that's it thanks for watching Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.